Hi everybody, welcome to Church at Home with Rachel on Friday the 12th of January for Feel Good Friday, Church at Home edition. Today I'd like to talk to you about going home. Now for some people I know going home maybe doesn't have the greatest connotation. However, for a lot of us, there is sometimes that sense of getting to go home is a great feeling. You know, that, you know, 4.30, quarter to five rolls around and five o'clock when you get to punch at a work and you just get to go home. Or when you've been on the road for a long time and you realize you're getting closer to your parking lot or your garage and you just have that sense of relief like, oh, I get to go home. Or maybe going home is something completely different. Maybe going home is going back home. When I was a kid, my biggest thrill always was when my parents would start talking on Thursday about, you know, on Friday after school, we'd be going up home. For me, up home was the farm. And it didn't matter that where we lived may or may not be south of the farm, but it was always going up home to the farm where my grandparents lived, where my cousins were always there. It seemed like whenever we were there, there were tons of people there. We had lots of family and friends. We could run around outside and play with the dog and watch the cows and, and you know, play in the barnyard and climb, climb around in the barn. Going up home, going home always meant peace. And for me, and I think for my sisters as well, for a long time, um, I know for me anyway, because my grandparents were alive until I was 17, um, we moved around a lot. And so having that one place that never changed was incredible, knowing that no matter where we lived, no matter where we called home in our world, we could go back to the farm. We could go back to halfway between Hanover and Durham and go to the farm and know that nothing there ever changed. Sometimes they did, but the essence of it didn't. The people walk in the door and you could smell grandma's baked goods and you knew there was going to be a big hug and my grandpa was going to say, ask how we're doing and the smell of his pipe smoke. All those things that, that made us feel like this is home. This place, home is that place where you are welcome. That place where no one expects you to be anything but who you are. That place where if you've got a really bad knock-knock joke, they'll still laugh. That place where if you've got your heart broken as a teenager, you can go there and know that they're going to tell you that you're beautiful and you're loved. And who was that fool who let you go? That place where they're going to tell you the truth, even when it hurts. Because you know that they're telling you because they love you. That's home. Today, as you are watching this, or soon to be anyway, um, depending on what time of day it is, I will be heading home, which is an interesting concept because this week, um, I'm recording this before I even go away, but this week will include, will have included on Tuesday, the opportunity for me to see my new home, the house that I will live in, um, where Rob will eventually join me when he's posted to Shiloh, I hope soon, um, when an opportunity, where we will make lasting memories because this will for all intents and purposes be my last job i will be the bishop of brandon until i retire so this will be my home until it's time for us to go and find our retirement home and at the same time though i'm leaving behind that empty condo that beautiful space and the and leaving behind even the province to drive west to go home to go to my heart, to go to that place where I can come in and kick off my shoes and know that my husband is going to greet me. Now, I'm not I'm not so so silly as to think he's going to greet me with, you know, like the 1950s with a martini in one hand and a here's your slippers in the other, which is some way women were portrayed as greeting their husbands when they came home from work, to a hot meal that was always fresh and ready to go regardless of how late he was like that ever happened. But I'm coming home to a place where it will be completely a mess because he won't clean up and the kitchen will be a, just a nightmare and there will be stinky socks everywhere and none of the curtains will have been opened all week, but it will be home. It'll be that place where the one that I love waits for me. It'll be that place where all my books are just where I left them. That place where dude's toys are, are piled up in a, on, in, a, in a basket on the floor behind me where all of my memories from of being in this place are, where my comfy slippers and my warm sweater are waiting for me to sit in my big oversized chair with a good book and a really big cup of tea 
because I'm home. For me, home is where Rob is. Home is where my things are. But home is that place, essentially, where I feel like I'm my best self. Whether it's up at the farm, or home in my house after a long day at work, or a long 10-hour drive, or home in a month and a half being a brand new empty place with new memories to create and furniture to put in it, and new places to put old books. Home is that place where I can be myself. And I can know that I am accepted and that I am loved and I can be me. We all need that place. We all need to have a home, whether it is a farm where people, you know, like I always felt like Cheers, remember Cheers on TV, that bar where everybody knows your name. That's what the farm felt like for me. As soon as I walked in, everybody said, hi, Rachel. And it was a beautiful place to be. But that's the thing. You can find home in lots of places. Maybe it's your local legion where you go for coffee Monday mornings. Maybe it's that coffee shop where you hang out with your friends. Maybe it's the public library. Maybe it's your workplace. Maybe that's where you feel most comfortable. The idea being, we all need to find that place where our heart resides, where we know we are home. And there's no judgment. There is no judgment. If your home is someplace where everybody else thinks this is crazy, like there's no rest and relaxation there, That's okay if that's what makes your heart sing. What makes you feel good? Don't let other people tell you what that is. Don't let other people tell you where that is. Allow yourself to find that place. And if you can, for this weekend, find a way to go home. To kick off your shoes and put on your comfy slippers, metaphorically speaking. And just allow yourself to be. And if you don't have a home yet, pray about it. Because I know from experience that there have been seasons in my life when I really didn't feel like I had a home. Where I didn't feel like there was somebody there who loved me or that there was a comfortable chair for me to sit in and just be myself. However, I always knew that the road that I was taking would eventually lead me home. So if you're not there yet, if you haven't found your comfortable space, trust God and ask Him, ask God to take you home take you to that place and those people where everybody knows your name, where your good book is, your slippers, your martini, or whatever your cup of tea might be, where you can find that place where you feel good on a Friday. I, God bless you. Have a great weekend. Um, please pray for me that I get home safely. <laughs> I will be, I am not recording next, um, Sunday's gospel on the go until I get back. So provided you see a gospel on the go or church at home for Sunday, it means I got home safely. (laughs) I trust that I will. God bless you for hanging out with me. Thank you for walking with me through this transition. And I pray that you will feel God's blessings and that you will feel at home in your own skin and in your own space. If not now, then quickly. I will see you again on Sunday for gospel on the go or on Monday for church at home with Rachel. God bless everybody.